I was always interested in the notion of perception, how we as humans uh, perceive the world around us. I started out as a video artist, so I'm probably most well known for making abstract video art. And that's why I started to toying with materials like the one I'm using in the bridge. When looking at the sketches of the bridge, I, I found the arch really interesting, the arch of the bridge on the both sides. And I wanted to create some sort of a passage feeling, a passage of both in between the two sides of, of the highway. I wanted to, I wanted to create something to visualize movement, movement of the people that actually are moving in a car or moving across the bridge with a tram or, or walking or coming by bike, something light and moving and changing. I'm very interested in coding and decoding and how we as humans put together information that we are getting and trying to create a bigger image out of the information we are given. The artwork that I've created is created by tens of thousands of small plastic squares that are reflecting the light and moving in the wind. I want the artwork to be kind of a riddle that you could, as a, as a viewer, you could watch it and wonder if, if, if there is anything there to be seen or to be deciphered or understood. I wanted to create something that would feel like a little bit out of this world, that would feel like that you would actually go, whoa, what's that? Something that would be a contrast to this huge concrete bridge and to bring some sort of a fluidity or, or almost crystalline or see-through feeling to it. I thought that it would be really interesting and beautiful to look at as a, as a passerby.